hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing the bobby boss brand unit in the color 1b thank you ebony line so much for sending me this unit to review for you guys so right out of the pack i can tell that Brynn has some big beautiful body wave curls uh, she's pretty long she goes down to my lower back and i am 5 6 for reference inside the cap she has this faux scalp um, before you get to the lace and she also has three combs one on each temple and one in the back along with adjustable straps so I'm go ahead gonna go ahead and cut the lace and put her on So right here, I just wanted to show you guys that you can see that faux scalp a little bit. It's kind of brighter underneath the lace. You can't really tell when like the hair is covering it, but it was a little bit noticeable. So I did want to show you guys that. I also wanted to point out that uh, the tracks are a little bit lighter, closer to the top of the wig. Um, and this wig does come with a lot of parting space. It is 13 by 5, but I did want to show you like some of the construction and what it looks like underneath. So now that my hair is brushed out, I'm gonna clip it out of the way and begin installing my wig. I use a Got To Be Free Spray for the install and then I use Got To Be Gel in the black bottle to do the baby hairs. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me do that and then I'll be back.
Now that I've finished the baby hairs and I've I worn my scarf for a few minutes, I did want to show you guys that this wig did give me some shedding after I cut the lace. Um, and I, I did get some shedding after this video. I wore it for about a week um, and it did shed. It did tangle. This isn't an everyday wig. Uh, so I would only recommend you wear it when you just want to pop out. So next I'm going to go in with my wax stick and my curling wand to try to flatten out the top. I don't like to use my hot comb on my synthetic units because it's a little bit too hot and while I don't have adjustable settings on the curling wand either, it's safer for me to use to flatten out my wigs and I don't like that lump at the top. So I'm going to go in with those two just to kind of flatten it out a bit. I did have trouble concealing the knots, but I wanted to open up the part a little, so I tried to pluck the part and then add some concealer. I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee, and I just put that down my part. It helped a little bit, but the like I said, the knots on this wig are very like black and just visible, so be mindful of that. So now that I'm done installing this wig, I just wanted to let you guys know how I feel about Brynn. Um, so like I said before, I really love this wig. She's not an everyday wig, um, but if you just want to pop out, then this is definitely a go-to. She's very long and beautiful. She gives me like virgin hair dupe vibes, um, and she's very soft right out of the pack. And I just love the curls. I really do. And this wig didn't take me long to install. It maybe took me like less than an hour. It was really quick and easy. Thank you again, Ebony Noir, so much for sending me this wig to review. If you guys have any suggestions on wigs you would like to see me review on my channel, please leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.